What really is the difference between a super bike dripping in all the latest and greatest kit and a mid-level bike? Well, today we've got two very nice cross-country bikes from Orbea, thanks to Shimano. We've got the Orbea Always M Limited with Shimano XTR and the Always H30 with Shimano Dior. That's it. Actually, we featured both of these group sets that are on this before, particularly the Dior, which actually has a lot of trickle-down technology from the XTR, including the much wider range 12-speed rear cassettes. It's going to be very interesting. So what is the difference between a bike that retails for about £7,700 and one that retails for £2,200? Before we get into the riding, see how they stack up on the trail, let's take a look at how they differ in tech. Both are Orbea Oys, the full suspension XC bike. The same tech goes into the suspension kinematics and geometry, although the cheaper option is the TR version with 120mm travel front and rear. The M Limited has a top of the line OMX carbon frame made up of different weaves of carbon sheet laser cut and tuned by arrangement of weave direction and layup, designed to be light and stiff. It even has a fiber link from the shock to the frame, and the frame and shock weighs in at 1740 grams. The budget option for the OIS still has the same attention to detail on frame build, with different shapes and thicknesses of tubing to find the right strength and stiffness, and the same geometry, Although the H30 is the TR version of the OIS, it's the same frame design, just a longer shock and fork is used to bump it up to 120mm compared to the 100mm on the Performance XE Race Machine OIS. The latest and greatest Shimano XTR group set adorns the top of the range bike with some very nice little touches like this flat mount rear brake for the lightest, cleanest and stiffest brake mount. You've also got the 1x12 of course and chain retention. Now, whilst the prices themselves might not be too similar, there are similarities in the group sets. Things like this 1051 wide range cassette trickles down onto the Dior, and also the Shadow Plus rear mech helps keep things nice and tight back there so the chain's not flapping around as much. So what are differences between the fancy top line stuff and the more budget end of the things? Well, a bit like the frame materials. This is exotic materials, nice carbon fiber. Same for the group set. I've got titanium, steel, and aluminium in this cassette. Talking of cassettes, that's a good gauge of how the group sets stack up. My XTR cassette weighs 367 grams compared to the 594 of the Dior cassette. Now, unlike its XTR counterpart, Dior does have to be kept in budget. So, like this frame, which is aluminium top to bottom, you won't find any titanium or carbon parts. It's predominantly steel and aluminium. Keeping the budget down, the weight is slightly higher, but then you do have a budget to stick to. So across my bike, lots of budget materials and technology is used to keep that price down but make it capable, whereas it feels like I've got the, you know, exotic materials, carbon frame at the heart of it, more carbon dripping, and it's the whole thing that makes this a super bike package. Yeah. But, let's see how they ride on the trail, shall we? Let's do it. <laughs> Ooh, which is the beast. Uh, I'm glad I'm on the light bike to be fair, so that's some good thing that's always going to be about a light bike is it's always going to be faster up a hill than a heavy bike. So yeah, we're talking about cross country racing, the highest level, light bike is very nice to have. It's a pretty steep climb. And whilst I may not be on the super lightweight bike that Neil's on, I do still have the same range cassette, that 1051, which luckily can winch me up these pretty steep climbs. Mm -hmm. 
So what makes this a super bike? Well, let's look at the frame. This is all Bayer's OMX. It's not any old carbon frame. This is the highest of their ranges of carbon frames with that Mayo customization as well. So the paint job on this, pretty special stuff. And then you just look at the materials of the rest of the bike. You've got carbon fiber rims, carbon post bars, even levers on these XTR brakes. And again, titanium materials. It's all about the highest end stuff on this bike. So there is a big price difference, about five grand in between these two bikes. Yeah. But you get the very best kit. Don't forget XTR stands for XT Racing. And I guess that's where you see, you know, people go in for these bikes with the best kit, the lightest bikes, because it will make a difference when it comes to racing. That is true, Neil. You do have the creme de la creme of Shimano parts there. And I do have the budget group set in the Dior. However, don't forget though, these group sets are both now, well, Dior certainly is now 12 speed and it's 99% cross, cross compatible. So actually at a later date, if I wanted to upgrade my Mecca, put an XTR one on or an XT even, I could. That is a very posh bike. It's pretty fancy. Neil, I got a question. How come you always get to ride the super bikes, mate? Oh, because well, it's my idea and I get in there first. Uh, right, oh. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, and uh, well, I better go catch up with Mr. Superbike there. Oh, Neil, Neil. <laughs>